am filming this clip right after I filmed yesterday's end clip. Just wanted to start this vlog, I guess. I haven't done anything this morning. I haven't even fed my cat. I just got ready. I washed my face, brushed my teeth, you know, did this to my head. And yeah, I actually need to wash my hair, but I might hold off till tomorrow so I can have maximum reading time. So I am currently a little over 50% in a match made in Mendy. I am still enjoying it. And I'm like 60 something percent of Sorcery of Thorns and I'm still enjoying that. Things are getting good. I actually stopped in the middle of like a very intense scene. So hopefully I'll start listening to that soon. This morning I have to edit yesterday's video. Normally I at least start editing a video the night that I'm doing it. But yesterday I was so tired. I literally just fell asleep and did not do anything. So yeah, I have to edit the whole video this morning. It's almost 9 o'clock right now. And that's it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to edit the video, make breakfast, and then we'll see where I'm at. early afternoon listening to Sorcerer of Thorns and playing Animal Crossing. I tried to show a clip of that. It's really hard to show clips of Animal Crossing because to record a video on Animal Crossing, you can only do like a 30 second screen recording and then you have to post it to Twitter and to get it, like there's no way to get it off of your Switch, I think. I don't know. So that was a lot of work to get that clip into this video because I had to post it on Twitter, download the video, then delete the tweet so nobody could see it. Yeah, so that was something. But yeah, anyway, that's what I did. I finished Sorcerer of Thorns. I gave it, I think I'm going to give it three and a half, four stars. I enjoyed the process of it. I liked the ideas of the libraries and the sorcerers and everything. I thought it was really interesting. I wasn't a huge fan of the romance. I kind of thought I was going to like it, but it just kind of moved too fast for me, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I didn't really understand why they liked each other. I didn't feel like it, I got it at all. Like, I kind of got why the main character, Elizabeth, liked the male character but I didn't understand why the male character liked her at all. It was fine. It wasn't like anything horrible. But yeah, the mystery part of it, like the person that I guessed when I said, I was, oh I guessed it like a couple days ago, like it was revealed to be them like immediately after I said that. So yeah, it wasn't that like mysterious I guess. It was just like a fun read. Um, I'm not sure if this is a standalone. I thought it was a standalone but I feel like I've heard that it might have a sequel but I'm not sure what the sequel would be. I thought there was an interesting, I guess, conversation about humanity, maybe, but I don't know. I don't know how I felt about it. And also, the main character is just so naive. That part was really annoying to me. Even if she turned out to be right, I just, she could have been really, really wrong. And it just felt really naive the way she was acting. And I wasn't a huge fan of that. So, yeah, but I enjoyed the overall process of reading to it slash listening to it. I enjoyed the book overall. Margaret Rogerson is the person who wrote Enchantment of Ravens, I think, which a lot of people really liked because of the romance in there. But like I said, I wasn't a huge fan of the romance in here, so I don't really think I'm going to go back and read that. If this book has a sequel, I might read that in the future just because I like the world so much. Um, if there is a sequel or something or like another book then maybe it'll follow another character. I would really like to see Katrin who's a side character that we don't get to spend a lot of time with. I would like to spend more time with her and see how she's doing if that's where the sequel's going. But yeah other than that I enjoyed it. Now it's like 1 30 2:30, 2:30, and I'm kind of in the Instagram live for the reading rush like read-in thing. I haven't partaken yet but I'm gonna spend the rest of the time, it's like half an hour, I think it's only an hour long, and read a match made in Mendy with them. So that'll be fun. And then I'm gonna eat lunch and then we'll see where the day takes me. The goal today is to finish a match made in Mendy. 
I think, honestly, if I finish A Match Made in Mendy, all the challenges fit all the books that I've read, so it's fine. I'll probably try and start Broke Millennial today, but I'm not going to be putting pressure on myself to finish it because I will have finished all the challenges. <laughs> slightly different room isn't that crazy uh just wanted to update you guys a little bit i ate lunch i did do that instagram live reading sprint reading thing but turns out i jumped in right as they were starting a break and so i really only read for 12 minutes so yeah but i read some i'm 60 percent through a match made in mendy now i'm just sitting on the couch i'm gonna try and finish that book and then i'll give you my full thoughts Okay, so I finished A Match Made in Mendy and it was adorable. I think I'm going to give it four and a half stars. I just enjoyed it so much. It made me really happy to read it. Um, and yeah, I think that's going to be the last book I finished for The Reading Rush. I finished two books this weekend, plus a graphic novel, so I read three things. I don't think that's bad for a weekend. And yeah, so A Match Made in Mendy was just adorable. There was a more serious event that happened towards the end but it was very short. The reason I think I'm gonna give it four and a half stars instead of five stars is just because it bothers me so much when the characters in these books refuse to talk to authorities before the bad thing happens. And I'm like, if we had just talked to anyone else, then I feel like this wouldn't have happened um, because there is like a bully character in this who is like really mean and she does some really kind of awful things. She breaks the main character's phone. There is, I guess, a trigger warning for like outing. It, like nothing bad happens. I mean, outing someone is always bad, but everyone takes it well, kind of, if that makes sense. Like the issue is that it was embarrassing, not that he ended up with like physical consequences or anything. but that did happen. Um, it's not portrayed in like a good light in any way. I think it's handled pretty well for what it is. So just putting that up. Other than the, those two serious things, everything else was just like really cute and adorable, like very lighthearted. I really like the family aspect for the main character whose name is Simi and uh, her family is very supportive. We see mostly her relationship with her mom and her older brother. I really like the relationship with her older brother just because it was so like nice, like they were like kind of annoying each other but they have each other's backs when push comes to shove and her mom is pretty supportive we don't see a lot from her dad and so i enjoyed that part she also has a good relationship with her grandparents and that was really cute to see i enjoyed her friendship with noah who is her best friend who is gay i just enjoyed seeing her friendship it was also cute the, the crushes and relationships that happen are really cute there is kind of a love triangle thing but it was kind of done pretty well i don't know i didn't mind it i thought it was cute and fun so yeah everything about the book was cute and fun and i think i mentioned in yesterday's vlog uh, the main character is sikh and her family sikh so that is a part of the story and she's also indian and like i mentioned in yesterday or the day before his vlog there are like little interjections i guess that and i think it's punjabi that are kind of just 
put in there and like not super like it's not defined but you can see what it is based on context clues. I thought that was nice and normalized that. You get a little bit of the culture like I mentioned in yesterday's vlog I think they talk about Indian food which I still want so bad. I want Indian food so bad and yeah I thought it was very informative in a casual way that I really liked. If you're Indian or identify as Desi you'll probably enjoy seeing part of yourself in here. I This isn't own voices I believe. I have to double check but most books on my TBR like this are own voices so I'm going with that. If it's not there will be big text over my head that says it's not. So yeah I really enjoyed that and like I mentioned earlier I finished Sorcery of Thorns which I also enjoyed not as much as A Match Made in Mendy surprisingly and I read the Lumberjanes volume 6 and I was supposed to read Broke Millennial Takes on Investing and I was going to take part in the Reading Rush's Twitter sprint but I really want to make cookies so I'm going to make cookies. Thank you so much for watching. If I decide to film the cookie making I will film that and that'll be the end of this but for now thanks for watching I'll see you in my next video. Bye!